Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a pair of Zippo Blue butane lighters. Real quick, let's throw this one in the category of other useful mechanisms before anybody asks me if I can repair a butane lighter, a Zippo Blue or any other iteration of butane lighter. Um, not my expertise. I do not repair them. I only use them. Um, these lighters are in pretty good condition. One of them is dated uh, 2005. The other one is 2007. They both appear to me to hold gas just fine. I fueled them both, uh, I don't know, it might have been a year ago. And the one on the left still had fuel in it a moment ago. I did put some more fuel in the one on the right. I believe the one on the right is the one that is dated 05. And it seems to me a little bit more clunky than the other one. But if you've seen the other video where I compared these to the um, Zippo single torch butane insert, then uh, you'll know they're just not my favorite lighters to begin with. They're somewhat clunky in their design. It's um, sort of like somebody wearing an oversized suit or playing an oversized guitar. It's, uh, it's just kind of weird but we're going to take a look at them anyway. I'm going to go ahead and list these for sale uh, probably later today. As I was saying, they do show scuffs, scrapes, dings, normal wear. I don't know if there are any dents. They're in pretty good condition. Give you a good look at both of them here real quick. This one is dated G, so I think that is July of 07. That is, I'm not sure what they call that finish. And it looks like this may be the same finish. Sort of a tumbled chrome maybe or something like that. This one is dated September of 05. I believe these are the first model of Zippo Blue. As I said, I'm not an expert. I do not deal with butane lighters normally. Uh, I do use them. I use them a lot. So I like it when I find one that works well, but that's about as far as I go with them, as far as me trying to repair them. Fill them with gas, they spark, they work great. Not, I move on. I got too many petrol lighters to fix up till now to really um, spend much time on butane lighters. Anyway, you'll see the it does at least have a flint ignition system. Somewhat, um, like I said, just clunky is the best word I can think of. The flint ignition or flint tube, the whole mechanism there, the whole flint assembly comes out and that's how you would refill the flint there. Can only go back in one direction at least properly. They have a window for you to see the fuel level, but I can't really seem to see whether there's any fuel in there or not. Don't believe that you can turn the flame up or down on these. You are just 
dealing with what you have. But a lot of people like them. A lot of people collect them. People still use them. Maybe people with hands that are... Uh, I didn't get that push back down in there. It's holding the lid up. Anyway, people maybe with uh, bigger hands than I do, longer fingers, or maybe just hands that haven't been damaged by uh, 25 years of industrial abuse. Maybe I should say governmental abuse. Anyway, these lighters, um, whether you have the notion to collect them or have coveted a Zippo Blue so that you can put it to use, I don't know if this one maybe was the one that was harder to, or if maybe that needs gas. No, it doesn't really appear as though it needs gas. Could be running low, and I'm not going to refill it here right before I package it up to ship it. So I'll be listing these two lighters. Uh, as a group, sort of like I did the aluminum block project lot last week, and uh, hopefully we can sell this one just as quickly. Got some kind of number on it, or I can't read that with my glasses on even. I don't know, I was looking at it earlier, it looks like these sell in the neighborhood of 30 to $50 a piece. So I'll probably list the two for, uh, I don't know, $75 or so and then take offers if it doesn't get snapped up. Just keep in mind, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it is entertaining. I hope maybe you even learned something about butane lighters and Zippo Blue butane lighters in particular. But please don't ask me if I can repair this one or any other butane lighter for that matter. I only work on petrol lighters. You can see the hinge on each is you know some movement or play but I don't think it's beyond what is supposed to be there everything fits down snug same here a little bit of movement from side to side and it closes Sounds like they really tried to get that Zippo ping there, but it's a little bit different sounding. A little bit more hollow or I don't know what it is. Five barrel hinges, just like the regular windproof lighter. As I was saying, you can pull those out. Sort of like the clipper lighter in that respect. Could be useful to be able to pull that out if you need to pack something or poke around on something. <laughs> that could go in the other useful mechanism category as well. Until next time.